Hey everyone, this is Chris. This is a video for the latest updates and features of the Darkglass Element. The Element can now be used as an audio interface for both PCs and Mac. In addition, with the latest updates of the Darkglass Suite and the Darkglass app for both Android and iOS devices, you can make changes to your device on the fly. Before we proceed, make sure that you have downloaded the latest firmware for your device. In order to do so, you have to go to darkglass.com suite and download the Darkglass Suite. After you have installed it, just make sure that you have updated to the latest firmware. Now, let's check how it works as an audio interface. First of all, let's check the audio device in our DAW. Currently, I'm using my Airemi one, I'm going to change to Douglas USB audio device. So now, let's check the inputs and outputs of the device. We have four inputs and six outputs. Uh, for the inputs, we have a process signal, which means that it's going to record all the changes you have done to your element, like uh, the cap simulation and all the changes uh, like equalizer and the preamp you might have used to it. An uh, instrument in RAW, which means that your signal from your bass or your instrument in general gets straight to the audio interface. Then we have two separate channels for the auxiliary in, one for left and one for right. Take a note that the auxiliary in only works when you have connected a cable with another device. It doesn't work with the Bluetooth. Then you, can, you have three different outputs. Uh, one is uh, for the out phones one, the other one is phones two, and the XLR mix. If we check the control panel of the device, you can see we have a range from 8 to 2048 samples. In case your system doesn't perform well when you have a really low latency, then you can just enable the safe mode. In this way, the output latency is increased a bit, but you're going to have a trouble-free experience. So let's check how it works. Uh, I'm going to set up my audio connection first of all. As you can see in outputs, I have selected phones 1 out, uh, because I'm using the phones 1 on my element. And for the inputs, I've chosen uh, for the left one the process and the right one the raw. You can make all the changes you like, but I'm going to use these two for reference. So. In this channel I have left in and on the other one I'm going to get right. Let's check how it sounds uh, with direct signal and then with a process one. So this is the sound of the bass directly to the element. And this is with the capsule. So I'm recording both tracks at the moment and I can make all the changes I want to. So now let's check the Douglas app. As you launch the app you are prompted to pair your device. Make sure that you have enabled the Bluetooth and the GPS on your smartphone. After you click on pair, you are asked to press and hold the pairing button. So we keep it pressed down until all the lights turn on. And then your device is connected to your smartphone. Let's start from the caption section. Uh, from top to bottom, as you can see, we have five different slots. Uh, each bullet point represents each slot on the element. So if we change them, also the element slot it changes as well. So it's real time. Uh, then we have the recent addition of uh, the Douglas app, which is the preamplifier. Currently, I have the bass head, and you can choose between bass and guitar. Both of them have the same controls, which is dry resonance, resonance, and volume. After that, we have the cabinet section where you can just scroll left and right and check all the available cabinets. As you can see at the bottom, we have different mics. By selecting uh, a certain microphone and keeping pressed down, it's going to be added to your favorites. And then you see that it's added to your favorites. So if you change to the factory and scroll out, you see that the favorites of its cabinet is stored to the bottom. Another addition to the latest update is also the equalizer. So, as you are in the capsim section and you press on this one, you get to the equalizer section. You see that we have two different equalizers, one with the Douglas logo and one without. The, the one with the Douglas logo is actually tuned to the preference of Douglas. As you can see, the frequencies are the same as the ultra pedals, while the other one is a more generic one. You can also control the overall volume of your capsim. You can make all the changes you want to, and enable or disable, and in case you want to reset it, you just click on reset, and everything goes back to flat. 
And now let's check another feature that was recently added in the settings, which is the touch sensitivity control. As you can see, you have the options of low, normal, hard, and hardest. I prefer to keep it at low, where it's really sensitive, so I don't have to press the button too hard in order to make the changes I want to. So now let's check how everything works. I have selected uh, the port slot in my element, which is a Douglas Elite Series 4x12 with a condenser 414. So this is the sound without the preamplifier enabled. And if we enable it, Let's check uh, the drive control first of all. If we increase it, so that controls the overall drive. You don't necessarily have to use a lot of drive in order to create a sound that you might like. You can use uh, the drive for saturation, like uh, emulating a tube. Then we have the resonance and presence controls. The resonance affects your low end. And the presence affects your high end. And the volume control controls over and volume. And here we have unity gain, either enabling or disabling the preamplifier. So after you have made the changes you want to, you can tweak the sound furthermore with enabling the equalizer. Currently everything is flat, so I'm going to start messing with the frequencies and see how they affect the sound. Now we'll also use a pedal before the element to check how the cap seam and the old tone shaping works. I have the Microtubes X uh, connected to the element. Um, first of all, let's check the default sound. And then we're going to select the cap.
So as you can see, the Douglas app is a really useful software. There's no need for a laptop or a desktop in order to make any changes to your sound. You just connect your smartphone to the element through Bluetooth, then you can make all the changes you want on the fly. The user interface is really friendly, and uh, it's a really fun experimenting with all the cabinets and uh, the tone capabilities you can get from every setting that uh, the app offers. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Take care.